Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. So we're gonna be doing not only a first impressions, but also a wear test with the new Estee Lauder makeup that I just got. All right, so without further ado, let's get right on in. So we're gonna go in with the Estee Lauder. This is the primer. If I can open the bottle. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is neat. So it's got this bad boy here. Ooh, it feels like I'm putting moisturizer on. So I'm really liking that. Got a lash here. Feels really good. Very hydrating, which is what I need in this Vegas desert for sure. Now, for some of you, if you're not used to this much hydration, it will feel a little greasy, but I promise you that is the feel. It's really not greasy, it's just really hydrating. So I am I'm loving this. Got my damp beauty sponge here. Now I am in the shade 1C1, which is cool bone in this double wear makeup here. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my sponge. Probably just got too much, but I'm just pouncing in. Pounce. Trying to get into right here because we are not wearing eyeshadow today. I'm just going to church with foundation on just to pry it out. All right, so this looks really nice so far. So far, so good. It has really nice coverage. So now we're gonna go in with the Futurist. This is the, it's skincare in a concealer and I am in the shade 1C. I love the little applicator. So we're just wanting to brighten up the under eyes just a little bit. Nothing too drastic. Just pounce, pounce, pounce. I am loving this coverage. Wow. Make sure to get in my nose holes a little bit. I'm loving that. So we're gonna go in with the Becca. This is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Go in and set my under eye. We're gonna go in with a big fluffy brush. So now we're gonna go in with the NYX. This is the eyebrow pencil in Cool Ash Brown. Now the most random bald spots on my brows. <laughs> They're so random. I'm gonna go in with bronzer. This is the NARS Laguna. We just want to warm up the face just a little bit. So I don't look like a pale mess. All right, next we're gonna go in with blush. This is the P. Louise. I'm not sure what shades these are because it's not listed, but it's this beautiful color right here. Just a little flush of color here. What's nice is it doesn't look like it's disrupting the foundation at all, which I find sometimes happens because I'm not sure why it happens, but sometimes it does, it happens. Wow, this is, I'm impressed so far, holy, holy cow. 
And then last but not least, we're gonna go in with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the Skin Frost in Mint Condition. This is a cute look with no eyeshadow. I'm loving this. All right, now that I think that is done, we're gonna go with the Morphe Mini Continuous Prep and Set Mist. This one has the ceramides and antioxidants. There we go, okay. Now I think I got a continuous spray. <laughs> So now I get closer and see what you guys think. And obviously this will fade a little bit because I'm gonna go wash my hair. Like this is like not really settling in my skin, but it is so far just settling really nice. So I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go get ready for the day, do a wear test and check back in with you guys. I'm really loving this so far. This definitely is my new foundation, hands down. So see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, I am back and it is the end of the day. It is currently 8.05 for me and I put on this makeup about 7, 7.30 or so. So let's zoom on in and see what we got going on. All right, I have zoomed in a little bit, a little bit more than normal just because I want you guys to see. So I have cat hair or dog hair, <laughs> one or the other. Uh, you can start to see my pores just a little bit. It's settled in nicely though. Uh, you can see that I still have some of that beautiful highlight, that shimmer. The blush and bronzer have settled in very nicely onto my skin. And let's see, forehead lines. There's really no separation for me. You can see some of this. So this, this these marks right here, I guess not really marks, but these white little things, that's hair. So I definitely need a dermaplaning again. But everything has held up nicely. I have not felt like I was cake face, so let's zoom it on out and let's see. So I'm gonna take my mirror right here and I'm just gonna take a little bit of a closer look. I don't have my glasses on, so it's a little hard for me. Not a spring chicken like I thought. Kind of settled a little bit into the fine lines and a little bit of my darkness is coming out right here. But other than that, the way it settled into my skin is very nice. There is a little bit of, I don't know what this is right here, but it's probably from my sunglasses putting those on and off. So the way it has worn down, I'm loving it. It has, it just looks nice. It looks now more like my natural skin versus earlier. It did have a little bit of a cakey vibe to it, but I just think that was, I put too much on there, so that could be it. I did see a little bit of cakiness right in here, which I probably didn't blend it out very well, which nose folds are a little hard for me, so maybe I'll figure out like a brush or something I can get to help with that area. But other than that, I think it looks great. Even though I did not wear any lip pencil today, this, what was it? Oh, Bond, Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. This lipstick has settled and it still looks like I have something on, which is incredible and pretty amazing because it's rubbed off since uh, brunch and then just now with dinner. So I'm pretty impressed. And yeah, so this is a, a, a nice look today, a wear test, I'm loving it. Definitely gonna keep using the Estee Lauder products, see how they continue to do on my skin. I know sometimes first impressions are like either really, really great or really bad, and then you end up vice versa later on. So we shall see. But for right now, this is definitely gonna be my go-to when I don't have samples to try. I appreciate you guys popping by. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there any product that you want me to try and waste my money on before you guys do? Tell me below, give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget guys, we still have that big giveaway and I really wanna give away some of this stuff cause it's just sitting here and I don't want it to expire. So come on guys. All right guys, but I'll see you in the next video.